If you've got your photos on your phone... I'm Jared Lambshed. I'm a Year 6-7 teacher of an all-boys class. Okay, then. Hackham East Primary School is in the southern suburbs of Adelaide, fairly low socio-economic area. In 2006, all staff all attended um, a workshop run by Ian Lillico, who's um, a boys' education expert Australian uh, based in Perth. The following year, uh, I was team teaching, and we were determined, I guess, to try try some of those strategies to see whether it really did make a difference. OK, guys, can we have community circle, please? Bring your chair down. Positive culture in the classroom is vitally important. We try and set up a, a learning environment where the whole class comes together as a team. Yeah, quick as we can. We have uh, a community circle set up um, that where the kids come together and they really manage their behaviour themselves. OK, um, so... We'll start having a look at the, prob at the problems we've got. Um, yeah, it takes a lot of work. Toby, you're first up. Can you tell us, remind us why you're out? Um, I'm out because I put myself out because I think that I don't think I've been completely on task and I think I've been like distracting, my, uh, I've been getting distracted and distra maybe distracting others a little bit. Uh, okay. Would you like some feedback? Oh, yes, please. It's not a punitive consequence based program. Well, I think it's been going really good. It's about getting together and talking through those issues rather than just throwing detentions at them. Job with Andre, like helping him and stuff. Yeah, I reckon you've been really good and like, you should move back in. It diffuses anything before it really begins to build up. What would you like to see happen today? Um, I'd like to go in. All those in favour? Aye. Aye. Uh, it's an important process though that we do we finish with a positive at the end of that. I'd like to acknowledge Andre for staying calm during this session. The physical layout of our classroom is very different to what, what other classrooms are like in the school. We've been looking at the work of Stephen Heppel and trying to set up our learning spaces a little bit differently. We have round tables set up in a cafe style so that they're forced to sort of be facing each other and talking about that. That obviously has to go along with some engaging learning tasks, otherwise they're going to sit around and talk about what was on TV last night. We've got kids sitting on cushions on the floor around a coffee table and they're much more productive. We're looking at kids engaging through having online blogs and that's about one of Lilico's recommendations to, to show the boys a purpose for their learning and give them a real audience. Obviously once that behaviour is under control the learning picks up as well. Seeing lots of good data and, and looking at work samples the, the difference was, was huge. So who wants to start? Do you want to, what, are you, what are you doing at the moment? Um, I'm going to be looking at a mass investigation. We meet uh, on a fortnightly basis. Uh, my role is really to lead that discussion, I guess. What I'm planning at the moment to do is actually look at uh, a game of chance. So probably In the planning uh, session, we were looking at some maths uh, topics and really just yep. make um, them more engaging. Have you got uh, like a links to like a real life situation and things like that? Um, I do. It's, it's going to be based on a school fair where they have to make a game of chance. It's about just drawing out the conversation. But they won't be static in their seats. Yes. With the hands-on stuff, the other thing you can probably do, make the games, you know, make the boards up and do those sorts mm. of things and uh, it probably comes away from the maths then a bit. But you're looking at cross-curricular links and it can go to, you know, some design and tech yeah, stuff. Definitely. For me, watching the program grow has been excellent. I mean, I it's been a highlight of, of my teaching. Having a purpose for learning is really important. Yep. Through the way that the boys behave now and through the way that they present themselves and the skills that they've learnt through being part of this program, I have a group of boys that come with me twice a year and we present a lecture at UniSA. So they're, they're now able to take that next step and share their learning with the next generation of teachers um, and to be able to get that message out there from their perspective. It's not just me standing there going on about how good I think it is. The kids are now starting to, <clears throat> to be involved in that, to show... Uh, an understanding of how they're learning and how that this sort of program is affecting who they're becoming.